Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I will be teaching you how to hack. Oh, by the way, I made a really funny smiling face. Anyways, so, let's start with 2048. This is the original one, 2048. So, you know, this, the guy that created this made this website. It's really nice. The first way, I mean, this isn't really hacking, but if you click and hold two keys, it speed plays for you. So, as you can see, you can see how it's going really fast. Well, it was. If you click and hold, see, it's, okay, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is going pretty fast if I click and hold. As you can see, okay, you can see that. So, here's 2048. I'm going to show you the first way. In here, if you go to application, this will work on almost any website. Well, most websites. Let's put it as that. So, here's some Twitter stuff. We don't need that. What we're going to be looking at is the regular game code. So, here we have a score. Right here, I'm going to write, like, my zip code. There we go. Now, when I reload the game, the best score should be 8586. There we go. And inspect element, if I did something like that, most of you would know. If I modify this to like something, and then I refresh the page, it would go away. But if you actually go in application and you modify the value from here, and you refresh the game, it will save. Eight five oh eight six. Okay, that's all good. Let's just try a simple thing here. What happens if I do eight cells? Okay, I broke the game. What we will do is reload the game. Sorry, I just like to play it. Um, grid size, position, value. Watch this, it's so easy. Just find the first value thing. Reload your game. 2048. And as soon as the game will recognize that. Oh, never mind. What if I put multiple ones or two fours? This is just something I'm going to try out. So here we have what first one zero two four. We're going to scroll over, find our next. Now in, in theory, if I reload the game, there will be two ones or two fours. Up over, you win just like that. So, uh. Nice. Try right again, and you can keep on going. And actually, if you can't really understand the code, if you click on it, you can't actually edit this. It won't allow you to. But you can edit from here. So you see how it says one false? If I go in here, one, you can see I can actually edit this. Enter, even though I only have four, one is equal to true. Oh, false. I guess it updates every single time, but I won. Bottom line. So it did work. But let's find something else that you guys can better understand. Well, I mean, like, you can better comprehend. Now, how would I say that? Something else that I can exemplify. Over. Watch that. Let's just set this to true. And my score. Joseph. Yeah? How many? Okay, give me a second. There we go. Game over. I could still go, definitely. If I I wasn't hacking, I'd be able to go. But I said game over to true, and I lost. But it worked. Now, if I refresh it. There we 
go back to normal. You could also go back and score. And if you ever make a change that you don't want, just go in application, clear storage, clear site data, refresh, gone. So first game we hacked, we're all good. Here second game, actually, to be honest, I already hacked this one. Um, my brother was playing it today and I decided, hey, you know what, you're playing a piece of trash. I'll join you and beat it. Oh, big thing, no offense, but big thanks to this person, because they coded it. I mean, that's good. I don't know why they wanted to base off of CSGO, but I, I hacked it anyways. So, I only had one of these at the beginning, but at the end I got all of these. But, at the same time, the problem is, if you look at my code, I have here, local storage, actually, I have to say, it's going to be like, so, this is basically all the code, here you have your money array, not that much stuff, here you have your upgrades, and you can see that's not that much stuff, inventory on the other hand, this goes on forever, there's like 900 things, that, there's 812 items in here, and that's way too much, but, that's 3,100 lines of game data, as you can see here. Um, so, I mean, I already hacked that. It's good, and it works. If I refresh it, they're all going to be there. And I did actually hack it. You can tell from the money variable. I'll be right there! And then here, last thing, drop. If, you add, add a, if you're added cool map games, and you're curious, if you add slash play to the back, it should full screen it, but this doesn't work on every game. Drop is really fun. fun game I like it and I prefer you don't hack but if you really want to what you could do is right now I can't right click control shift I control shift I mm. didn't work okay just go in setting uh, more tools developer tools and control shift I I tried that local storage cool math games here's your score what do we want let's set all what you can do is copy and paste this into Notepad and replace zero with nine. And here's just an example one. And in theory, when I reload it, I have one of the max amounts. Now when I place this, oh, it didn't work. But I have the max thing. I technically beat the game. And then you could also edit your score, your high score. Now I reload the game to change the effects, and here we are, we're all good, hacked, just like that. Okay, high five. Okay, there we go. I will see you guys in the next episode. Feel free to hit that like button down below, and hopefully this helped you guys. You can probably apply this to other stuff, like Khan Academy and Vocabulary.com. I'm not certain, though. This video is for educational purposes. That way I won't get in trouble. <laughs> okay, I have to go. See you later. I have to go and eat food. Bye.